Oh, that's great. Hi, I'm Lynn Majidimer, and I'm the author of Flower Show Quilts. And I want to show you these grip and stitch discs because they're what I use to qu quilt all the quilts in my book, and I dearly love them. I don't get along with gloves, and these just suit me perfectly. I can quilt for hours with them. I hold the smaller one in my right hand and the larger one in my left hand. And it doesn't matter which side is up, one has a little bit um, different texture, so it may grip your fabric better um, than the other, but one side will grip the quilt and the other side will cushion your hands. And you just hold them comfortably, let your hands relax over them, and start quilting. Um, the small one you want under the arm of the machine so that you'll have more space to work. And um, you can fit all the way um, up to the foot of your machine with the disc because the needle bar, when it's down, still has space. So if you are quilting on the edge of a quilt and you need to grip it, you can actually quilt really close by just tipping the disc up so that it's not getting stuck on the bed of your machine, but is still gripping the edge of your quilt, which comes in handy if you did not have enough extra fabric for backing or not much batting sticking out from the bottom of your quilt top. And it just lets you have a little bit extra room to work with. You can go pretty close, and if you need to get all the way to the edge, I will put one in front of the other I like my um, left hand in the back because that's what I'm comfortable with, but you might prefer to have your right hand in the back. And I can quilt all the way up to the edge of my quilt, right along the edge. And a lot of times when I'm quilting, I will actually do this so that when I put my binding on, I don't have gaps in between my quilting designs where it might pucker as I put the binding on. So I find it really helps. And um, I do a, a bunch of different designs. Um, right now I'm doing a little swirly, um, like a free motion little, little swirl. And you can do them just fitting together. You can also take a swirl and by adding petals around it, you can make it into a flower. And normally I sew a little bit faster than this, but I want you to be able to hear my voice as well as you can. And I just ran out of bobbin thread, I think. 